G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. If you want to master your chords back to the front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerodihero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you really want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Now this is one of the first songs I learned to play and it gave me a real appreciation for Metallica and from that point on I was a massive fan. It's an epic song and in this video I'll break down how to play all the finger picking but I'll also teach you how to play the electric guitar solo as well. Now the song is recorded with the electric guitar so at the end of this lesson in the playthrough everything will be on the electric guitar but in this lesson I'll teach you all the finger picking parts on the acoustic just for some clarity. In terms of what you play nothing will change though so you can choose to do this on the electric or acoustic if you'd like. Alright let's get stuck into the song. Now for our finger picking basics your thumb will take care of the 6th, 5th and 4th strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings respectively. They shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones have been assigned to. Those are my suggested finger picking rules. To start off we have a really nice and easy finger picking pattern which is a good exercise in its own right. And you don't have to fret anything, you're going to pluck the 6th string, 3rd, 2nd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd. So basically just down and up, so six plucks. Now if you're starting out with finger picking, that's a really good exercise to just keep doing. As it gets all your fingers moving. So you're gonna play that pattern through three times. The fourth time you do that, instead of going back to the third string, you're going to get your index finger here and put it on the 7th fret of the 1st string and hit that. So the 4th time. For the final bar we'll pinch the 6th and 1st strings together and then 2nd, 3rd and then you'll pluck the 1st string again but you'll quickly pull off and to pull off you'll just flick your index finger down so pluck the string and then pull your index finger down and that's a really quick motion and then you're going to hit the second and third string so that bar for the second line of tab we'll go sixth third strings and then you'll go back to the seventh fret of the first string you're going to pluck the first and second strings together and then go to the eighth fret Go back to the 7th fret and you'll just pluck that string by itself but you'll do a hammer on pull off. So you'll hammer on to the 8th fret with your middle finger and quickly pull off. That's a quick motion and then after that you'll slide your index finger down to the 5th fret. Now that's all in one quick motion like that. So that bar in total. Then for our next bar, your ring finger will come up to the 7th fret. We're going to pluck the 1st and 2nd strings together. Then we go back down to the 5th fret. You pluck that just by itself and slide it down. Now it doesn't really matter exactly where you slide it down to. Roughly the 3rd or 2nd fret is where you'll sort of just let it go. Like that. And then you'll hit the open 1st string. So that bar. And the first two bars. Then your ring and pinky finger will go onto the fifth frets of the third and second string. You're going to have your index finger here ready to stretch to the second fret, but we don't need that quite yet. You'll start by pinching the fifth and second strings together, and then the third string, and the second string, and then the first string, and you'll have your index finger on the second fret. Pluck that and quickly pull off and then second and third string so that bar for our next bar we go fifth string third second first and then we have three pinches all in a row so the first one is just this position you're going to go fifth third second and first strings all together and then your next finger comes onto the second fret of the fifth string it's a bit of a stretch and then we move it up one fret and then that's at the third fret of the fifth string. So that section.
And then there's four quick plucks here, fifth, third, second, and third. And then you'll quickly take your index finger down to the third fret of the first string, hit that, and pull off. And then there's two quick notes here, second and third string, after that pull off. And then your index finger comes back up to the third fret of the fifth string. We're going to pinch the fifth, third, second and first strings and then move it up two frets and do the exact same thing. And so far. Then we have four plucks here, fifth, third, second and third strings. And then after that, you'll lift everything and then you'll pluck the open first string and hammer on and pull off to the fifth fret with your index finger. Like that. It's a quick hammer on pull off. And then with your ring finger, seventh fret of the second string, pluck that and pull off. And then pluck the open second string and hammer on to the fifth fret. So that's all hammer ons and pull offs there. And then total for the second liner tab. For our third line of tab, we're basically playing that open note picking pattern, except we're going to add some natural harmonics to three of the plucks. So we have open sixth string, and then our next three plucks are harmonics. Now to play these harmonics, you'll just take your middle finger and rest it lightly on the string. You're not pushing down on the string, you're just hovering it and touching the string. Now you need to touch right above the fret strip separating 12th and 13th fret. By touching there and plucking, you'll get that nice chime sound. So you'll do that for the third, second, and the first strings, and then you'll return to the normal picking pattern. So second and third strings. So that first bar. And you'll do three more of the open picking patterns. For our fourth line and tab, we'll get to an E minor bar chord like this, same shape as an F bar chord, but up at the seventh and ninth frets and down one string. You'll hit the open sixth string, and then there's four quick plucks here, so fifth, fourth, third, and second and first strings together. Then we go to a D bar chord like this. You'll pluck fifth, fourth, and then third and second strings together. Shift this shape down two frets and do the exact same thing. The third and fourth bars are identical, so the fourth line of tab. For our fifth line of tab, we start with this E minor again. When we go to our D bar chord, we're changing the finger picking pattern a little bit. Now in the actual song, there's two guitar parts being played, but I've sort of combined the parts so you can just play it by yourself. You'll start with the bass note, and then you'll pinch the fourth and first strings, and then second and third, like that. You'll do the exact same thing with this C bar chord. Then we go to a G bar chord like this. We'll do essentially the same thing, but the bass note is now the sixth string. Then you'll go to a B7 chord like this, and we have the same picking pattern. And then we end with two open note picking patterns, like the start of the song. So the final line of tab. And that's it for the intro, and it sounds like this all together.
All right, next we move on to the verse, which has two lines of tab. So we're going to start off with an E minor shape. Now, this is optional. James Hetfield plays the E minor shape, and I prefer to play the E minor shape. And this is because if you happen to hit the wrong string, then it still sounds okay, because the underlying chord is still an E minor. But you don't need to do that. You can just play open strings as well if you want to. So I'm going to play an E minor shape like this, and my pinky finger is going to be ready on the third fret of the first string. Our first four plucks will be sixth, third, second, and first strings. Then after that, you'll lift your pinky finger and there's four quick plucks. So third, first, second, and third strings. So in total for this first bar. Then we're going to go to a D chord shape. You'll start by pinching the first and fourth strings together. Then there's a four note run, so you'll just Take your pinky finger and put it on the third fret of the first string. Lift your index finger. We'll start with the fourth string, first, second, and third. And so far. Then you'll quickly go to a C add nine chord shape, except you'll lift your pinky finger. We'll pinch the fifth and first strings together. And then there's four quick plucks. So second string, third string, and then two quick notes on the sixth string. So a descending pattern, third fret, and then second fret with your thumb. And in total for that bar. The third bar is identical to the first bar. Then we go to this D again, pinch the fourth and first strings together. Then we have three plucks here, so open fourth string, second string, and third string, but you'll pull off with your index finger. Then we go to our C, add nine chord shape, and then four quick plucks. So third string, second string, and we do the descending pattern again on the sixth string. And then total for that bar. In total for the first line of tab. For our second line of tab, we start exactly the same way, so we've already learnt this bar. For our second bar, we go to a D shape, pinch the first and fourth strings, then a four note run, so take your pinky finger, put it on the third fret of the first string, you can lift your index finger here, so pluck fourth string, first, second and third, and then go to a C add nine, pinch the fifth and first strings, second and third to that bar. Then we go to a G chord, sixth string, third string, first and second, and then we go to a B7 chord. So you'll just slide your pinky finger and everything else will come into place like that. We'll pinch the fifth, third, second and first strings all together, then fifth, first and second. So that bar. And then you'll go into an E minor position like this. Now that's not 100% necessary, but as I mentioned before, I like playing the E minor shape even when we're not plucking those particular strings. You'll start by pinching the sixth and first strings together and then continue with the typical open string picking pattern. And for the final bar, we go 6th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st, 2nd, and then we end with the descending pattern on the 6th string. Like that. And in total, the verse sounds like this.
Now there's a verse variation just before the chorus, which is identical to what we've just learnt. We just cut out the very last bar and that brings us into our chorus. So for our chorus, we have two lines of tab. We start with a C chord, we strum that once. Then we play an A chord and strum that once. I like to play it with my index finger barring across the fourth, third and second strings. And then we go to a D chord. Now this D chord is going to be played with a down, up, down, up, down, up, up, up strumming pattern. And the last four strums, we're going to actually play variations of this D chord. So our first change will go to a D sus4, so that's on that down strum. And then on the up strum you lift your pinky finger. Then on the next up strum, lift our middle finger, so it's a D sus2. And then for our final strum we end back on the D. So the D in total. Now the first and second bar are played through twice, so the first line of tab. For our second line of tab we go C, A, and then we go D again, but we are only playing the D for a short amount of time, so down, up, down, up. And then we go back into our open note picking pattern once and then the second time round we don't play the third string we just do the descending notes on the sixth string. So the chorus in total. Next we get to the instrumental section which is a lot of fun to play. Now we'll start with our index finger on the 12th fret of the 1st and 2nd strings. We'll pinch the 6th and 1st strings together and then the 2nd string and then we go back to the open 6th string. So those 3 plucks. Then your middle finger will come down onto the 14th fret of the 1st string. We go 1st, 2nd and 6th string. Then your ring finger onto the 15th fret of the 1st string. Pluck the exact same strings. And then pinky finger will stretch and reach up to the 17th fret and we'll pluck the same strings. And those two bars in total. Then we'll shift positions. Your index finger will now bar the 5th fret of the 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings. Your pinky finger will go on the 8th fret of the 1st string. We'll pinch the 5th and 1st strings together then the second and third strings and then to end this bar first second and third again and then the final bar we go fifth third second first second third strings so the last two bars then we go to a C chord we're pinching the fifth and first strings together second and third strings and then three more notes so the bass note first and second string then we go to a d sus 2 chord shape we're pinching the fourth and first strings together then second third strings and then three more notes the fourth first and second strings then you'll lift everything Get your index finger ready here because it's going to be needed on the 7th fret in a sec. We pinch the 1st and 6th strings together and then quickly go onto the 7th fret of the 1st string and then 2nd and 3rd strings like that. And then the second half of this bar we pluck that 7th fret of the 1st string again, open 1st string and then 2nd and 3rd strings. So that bar. Then we end this by going 6th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings. So the second line of tab in total.
Now the third and fourth lines of tab for this bridge are identical to the first and second line of tab, except for the final bar we extend it a little bit. We go sixth, third, second, first, second string, and then do the descending lick on the sixth string. So with all that in mind, the bridge sounds like this. Moving on to the chorus just before the solo, it's identical to the other choruses we've learnt, except the C, A and D sections are played through four times instead of two times, like the other choruses. Now the final thing we need to learn finger picking wise is the outro, and it's really easy because it's basically comprised of a small section that we had in the intro. So the outro will start with the typical open string finger picking pattern, except the first pluck will be a pinch of the sixth and first strings. And then the rest of it is a chunk of the intro. So we've already learnt that. It's very familiar, it sounds like this. So after that slide and the open first string, we just repeat it again and again, and the song fades out that way. So the outro one more time. Now let's get to the solo section. Now all the electric guitar tones you hear were recorded with the Boss Katana. Now to start, we'll take our ring and pinky finger and put them on the 14th and 15th frets of the third and second string. You'll hit both those strings at the same time, but as you do that, you'll bend your ring finger up. Like that. Then you'll hit the third string again and bend and release. And then go to the 12th fret. And then we go 14th fret, 12th fret, and then you'll go down to the 11th fret of the 3rd string, hammer on and pull off to the 12th, 14th fret of the 3rd string with your pinky fret, back to the 11th, down to the 12th fret of the 4th string, and then we end on the 14th fret of the 4th string. So that run in total. And so far. Then you'll go back to the third string, 12th fret, 14th, 12th, and then you'll hit the 14th fret and bend it up. And after you bend it up, have your index finger here ready to bar across the 12th fret of the first and second strings. Because you'll hit the second string and then the first string. And we'll do that twice. Then you'll hit the 15th fret of the 2nd string, pull off to the 12th. 15th fret of the 3rd string, back to the 12th of the 2nd string. Then 15th, 14th of the 3rd string, and then down to the 12th fret of the 3rd string. Now you'll hit this 12th fret and bend it. So the easiest way to bend this with your index finger is to bend down. Instead of bending the string up, we'll bend it down, like that. And so far. Then 
then 14th fret of the fourth string, then you bar your ring finger across the 14th fret of the third and second string. We play a double stop here, so hit those two strings. There's a bit of staccato there, so don't let them ring out. Then we have three plucks after this. You're gonna double stop that 14th fret again, and then double stop the 13th fret with your middle finger, and then end with the 12th fret of the third string. And that full run. Moving on to the second line of tab, we'll take our ring finger, slide from the 14th fret up to the 15th, back down to the 14th, and then 12th fret of the second string. Then back up to the 15th fret of the first string, 14th, hit the 15th again, but slide up to the 17th. And total for that bar. For our next bar, we go down to the 15th fret of the first string. And then our next run's a little quick, so it's a hammer on from the 14th to the 15th, but then you slide down to the 12th. So quick hammer on pull off and slide down to 12th. And then you'll quickly need to get to the 12th fret of the second string. And then with your pinky and a ring, go to 15th fret and 14th fret of the first, and then end back on the 12th. And so far for the second bar. To end the bar, we go to the 12th fret of the third string, 12th fret, 14th, back to 12th. And then we play that bend that's at the start of the solo, so 15th and 14th frets of the third and second string. After you've bent and released it, pull off to the 12th fret of the third string. And then go to the 14th fret of the fourth, back up to the 12th, bend the 14th fret up, then bar the index finger across the 12th fret of the second and first string. Then you'll go to the 15th fret of the second string, and then the second time you'll bend it up and release, and pull off to the 12th fret. And then you go back to the 15th fret, hit it, and then bend up and hold it at that high position. And then you'll slowly release it back down. And then total for the second line of tab. So that's the end of the solo, but then we sort of trail on with some extra notes. So after you've released that 15th note bend, we're going to hammer on and pull off onto the 12th and 15th. After that last 12th fret note, we're going to slide down to the 7th fret and then go hammer on and pull off on the 5th to 7th. Then we trail on some more, and this sort of goes into the verse. So we have three notes. So seventh fret of the second, eighth fret, and fifth fret. For the second chunk of three notes, we go seventh, eighth, and seventh fret of the third string. And then to end this, seventh fret, eighth fret of the second string, and then slide that up to the twelfth. And we just hold that out till the end of the song. And in total, the solo sounds like this.
So that's it for the lead section of the solo. Now if you wanna just play the rhythm section for the solo, then that's quite easy. We're gonna start with an E power chord, so just your index and middle finger on the second fret of the fifth and fourth string. You only need to hit the top three strings. Then you'll pluck the second fret of the fifth string and slide it up to the seventh. And then with your index finger already here, get into a power chord shape, and we're gonna hit this high E power chord. Slide it down two frets to a D power chord. Do it again. And then go down to the C power chord. And then we have the two note descending run on the sixth string. So those two bars. We're going to repeat those two bars essentially through three times except for the third time we don't have this descending run. And in total, the first line of tab. So after that first line of tab, we then go to a G power chord, then a B power chord, and on the e. So in terms of the rhythm, this is what is played in the solo. So now I'll be playing through the song in its entirety and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to head over to guitarzeritohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you really want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zerity Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zerity Hero. Cheers.